Morning, everybody. Uh, good day here on the Appalachian Trail. Woke up this morning at Partnership Shelter. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm breathing kind of hard. Um, Partnership Shelter is one of the few shelters on the trail you can have food delivered. I didn't. I ate some of my food, but there was enough leftover food from other hikers that I got to have some pizza, and that was kind of cool. So, um, and actually, because of the threat of rain last night, I actually stayed in the shelter, but it's one of the biggest, uh, best shelters on the trail. So I made an exception, <laughs> um, but caught up with a bunch of other people I know. And I'm really kind of in a section now where um, a lot of the people just ahead and behind, I know them. Um, like within a day or so ahead and behind, I know a lot of them. So it's kind of neat. I've seen a lot of friendly faces out here and it's kind of neat. So, but um, this stretch of Virginia, um, kind of around Marion. Um, so we just had trail magic in a water store. Someone left some cold beer. Um, there's the Settlers Museum, which is like an old schoolhouse. Um, there's always trail magic there. And then there's a restaurant that we walked by in about probably seven miles or so by now. And so that's where we're gonna have a late lunch and um, kind of a neat little stretch of trail here, but just cause there's uh, so much uh, stuff going on and you don't have to worry about his food as much. So um, kind of neat. So I'll hopefully get to show you some of that. All right. <laughs> Southern Virginia might pop out before we head down south. Well, not south. We, we head down the mountain and uh, uh, to a bunch of road crossings. And today we're actually going to, there's a few milestones we'll cross today. We're going to cross I-81. We're going to cross the quarter way mark and some other stuff too. But you can kind of see I-81 way down there. But that's later today. And in my growing fascination with uh, passing under interstates and other major roads, here we are about to pass under. And you can see the white blaze there in the underpass of 81. Which just a couple days ago we went by uh, to get uh, pick me up for the wedding. But here we go. And then uh, for the next little bit in Virginia, so we're crossing under 81, but we actually will turn and kind of parallel um, 81 north. Um, for the next several hundred miles. I think we actually cross it again in Daleville and maybe again. Um, so this will be the first time of a few. I'm kind of following Route 81 north through Virginia. So there's the white blaze. There we go. As you can see, I crossed under. On my front, on the other side, you can see the double white blaze and the symbol, which we've seen a lot here in Southern Virginia. Didn't really see it much in the first three states, but in Virginia, they have the, uh, the actual uh, App Appalachian Trail, uh, National Scenic Trail symbol with a lot of little blazes. So there's the trail. Hey guys, cool little field we're walking through. I hope you can see some of it. Uh, it's been a good day. I'm currently trying to <laughs> struggle right now with, uh, do I really take it easy tomorrow? Um, or do I try to push forward and 
I don't know. I feel good. I feel like I just took a little bit of a break, but at the same time, my schedule allows it. Why not take a little extra time and get my body really good? Ooh. What? Okay, made it through. Sorry. It was this graded thing you had to kind of step over. It was a little weird. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But things are going really good for uh, Southern Virginia's very pretty. I'm hoping to avoid the rain this afternoon. Uh, trying to... Looks like things are kind of moving away from me, but we'll see. All right, guys, right. some exciting news. Uh, first, it hasn't started raining yet, <laughs> although there are some dark clouds coming our way. But uh, I am at mile marker 548 right now, which means I have officially passed the quarterway mark on the AT. So only three quarters left to go. Um, but I have completed 25% of the trail. Pretty cool. All right, bye. Okay, it's a quick update. Obviously, as you can see, my packa on. Uh, it rained. <laughs> and didn't just rain, I got hailed on. So that was fun. A little tiny hail. It didn't really hurt, but uh, that, was a, that was a first for me. So I've now had rain, snow, and hail in addition to all the wind and everything else. Um, I'm not completely convinced that the rain is over yet, but I hope that it is so I can get to my campsite and get set up and then uh, enjoy the short walk tomorrow uh, just a few miles to the quarter way in and enjoy uh, a day to dry off and another day to kind of let my body recuperate before I really try to make some miles in Virginia uh, further up the state so uh, yeah that was just a quick update uh, going down some hold on I'm gonna flip you around here some green tunnel coming down this little hill here um, I'm not really sure how far I am until my campsite because I haven't been able to look at uh, gut hooks app but sorry about that uh, shouldn't be more than a few miles um, I thought about if it continued raining just walking all the way to the quarter way in and taking my chances tonight um, still may do that actually but uh, I think I'll probably just set up camp if it stops raining and gets a little nicer and uh, I can get in my hammock and get a good night's sleep so anyway uh, this will probably be the last video today uh, just because of rain and trying to get camp set up and all that kind of good stuff so but we'll see I see do see some sunlight coming through those clouds but I don't know what's behind them uh, so anyway everybody have a good evening I have made it a quarter of the way of the Appalachian Trail. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe it. All right, I'll leave you. Now that the rain and cloud has passed, this is pretty much the view that I've seen all day and really all throughout, whatever, so. All right, bye. So in the end, I actually did end up walking the extra three and a half miles all the way to the quarter way in. And these are the fields that uh, you come down into right before you turn on the road and go to the hostel. But it was just a, uh, more cow pastures and farms, but it was really pretty. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of it.